Hey everybody, we're over here in the artist area right now. We'll talk a little bit about best practices when you meet them and what to expect. One of the big draws of larger magic tournaments is the chance to meet some of your favorite artists. They offer a number of services. Some of the more popular things is card signatures and altars, but they also have original paintings and prints, unique play mats, and sometimes non-magic related side projects. One of the things that uh, we have Young Camera doing right now is you're, you're, you're altering a card. And um, can you tell tell our viewers a little about the service that these are, you know, when an artist is doing an altar, what does that entail? Well, um, the in this case, normally I do my own cards. This is a special case. What I like to do is, like in this case, it's extending the artwork out. So just like kind of continuing what the, art, the original artist was doing on it. So... Uh, Hopefully I'm not insulting the artist doing it. Have some other interesting things going on. Like I did one of mine yesterday where I added a whole extra head to the foreground and like down here all over the text. So a lot of times, yeah, you end up covering the, the text over. Players seem to be okay with that, you know, which I, I'm always surprised at. But, but it is kind of a weird thing to do. <laughs> no, it looks really good. I can, I can see the appeal. People come up with really creative or unique ideas for custom work and they can usually give you a price for most reasonable requests. How much do you charge for something like this? Um, this one is a hundred a card, because I'm doing so much with it. Sometimes I do less, because it depends on what the, what the, you know, what they want from the individual card. I'm looking at, this, at some of your for sale signs here, and I'm noticing that you don't have a price for card signatures. And I've noticed that on a lot of other artists. Do you charge for signatures? I, I, I wouldn't have thought of it, um, but I was talking to uh, the other artists here, and they all do. And so it's like a, if I didn't, it would be kind of unfair. But yeah, we do. Um, a lot of times, because when uh, my experience has been, when, when I first started doing magic years ago, people would come up with a stack this big, and you're like, you know, yeah, you, I mean, you literally will spend, well, not only that, but you're spending your whole day doing doing signatures and there's no one to, you know, you, if you're trying to sell stuff and you're not making any sales, so you're spending the whole day just signing cards. So part of it is you kind of have to make a little money from the time that you're doing. Sure, sure. And then, uh, and also it reduces the number of cards you have to sign. <laughs> or, or, or if you're going to sign them, then it's things that people really are, you know, excited about having signed, you know. A lot of people agree that the art on the cards was what initially drew them to the game. There's a bit of an ongoing controversy right now with artists who attend the Magic Fest events related to diminished services. I'm not going to delve into it during this video, but it's worth reading more about. I've included some links for further reading in the discussion area below.